Kelly Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. As I said in my last video, I did some really great thrifting this week. I'm very excited. I decided to uh, break them up into two hauls. I got so many good things. Hope you enjoy the first one. and something said stop by Goodwill because there's a piece of Pyrex waiting for you there. I know it sounds weird but that's what I heard in my head so I went and um, look what I found. It is the gold. Let me open it up and show you better. It came all wrapped up with the cradle. I paid $2.99 for all of it. It does not have a lid. It is a 1960-1963 golden acorn piece with the matching cradle. It's in beautiful condition, paid $2.99 for it, which I thought was pretty good price at um, the Goodwill. So while I was at the Goodwill buying my piece of Pyrex, I actually had a bunch of really good stuff. I had seen this set of six, William Sonoma Vanity Fair Christmas plates, all in mint condition. That's a full set. I saw the name William Sonoma and Made in Japan. And although they're not old, I knew that they were probably worth more than $1.99 a plate they were asking. So I picked them all up. And they do sell for um, up to $9 a plate. I think I'm going to ask $40 for the set with free shipping. Picked up this pretty sugar bowl at the Goodwill. I paid $2.99 for it, which usually would seem like a lot um, to me, $2.99, but it is Franciscan pottery, and I get excited every time I can find a piece of Franciscan pottery in great condition. This is in great condition. The pattern is called Autumn, or Autumn Leaves, and they produce this pattern between 1955 and 1966, and you can see it's in gorgeous condition. Has a nice little speckle look on it, and the back of it said it was color seal. Uh, Franciscan Pottery actually patented the color seal line, which simply means that it was locked right into the wear itself, the color, when they were manufacturing it. Franciscan Pottery was produced by Gladding McBean and Company out of LA between 1934 and 1962. And I'm gonna list this pretty little sugar ball for about $15. I'm glad I went to the Goodwill this week because I did really well. I found this Vera Bradley mug in the Viva La Vera pattern. You can see it's just got this really pop pattern to it. They produced it between March of 2011 and May of 2012. Paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $15 for it on eBay. I found a piece of Picard dinnerware. Actually, I found this piece right here. I was really excited. I've never seen Picard out there in the thrift stores before. So I did some searching through the store. I was able to find a matching salt and pepper shaker, which did come in other shapes, the same pattern, and the little six inch leaf candy dish. This is a celery tray. I paid $8.50 for all of it. Like I said, it's Picard in the Rose and Daisy pattern. The Rose and Daisy pattern goes way back to 1911, and they made it all the way through the 30s, I think. These actually, the back stamp on this indicates that it was a 1938 back stamp. Picard is the oldest China manufacturer in the United States. They are out of Antioch, Illinois. And this beautiful 24 karat gold painting was done by the Wheeling Decorating Company out of Wheeling, West Virginia, and they were in business between 1900 and 1962. It was marketed as elegant dinnerware, their uh, 24 karat gold 
painted lines. And you can see it's very elegant. I paid $8.50 for all of these pieces. I think I'm gonna list them as a lot for $60. These are depression wear. The pattern is called Cute Pink by Jeanette. I bought six, and no, I bought four plates, I'm sorry, for a dollar a piece. I'm gonna ask $30 for the lot. They were produced between 1929 and 1933. I found this mixed in with the um, the Cute by Jeanette plates. I think they just put them all together because they were all pink. I was so excited to find these. These are Hocking Queen Mary. These are mayo bowls and the matching plate. I paid a dollar a piece and I have two beautiful sets of them. They're also depression glass produced between 1936 and 1949. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to sell them for I think $30 for both of them. tell you I was in the thrift store and I saw this gorgeous piece of turquoise halfway across the store I kind of made a beeline over to it turned it over saw it was Franciscan I got super excited it's not the same store I bought the other piece in and the line is called El Patio they made them in plenty of different colors I paid two dollars for it if you can see right here it's got a glossy finish they made them in matte too this is a nut dish they were produced between 1934 right through the 1950s and they came in lots of different colors i paid two dollars for this dish they sell for about ten dollars i hope you enjoyed my latest video and i did pick this up this gorgeous sweater i think it's gorgeous yesterday i was in sebastian with cindy and her mom and it was fill a bag of clothes for eight dollars so I did fill it up with lots of cool shirts and sweaters I'll be showing you in upcoming videos. Today's Super Bowl Sunday. My job was to make the brownies. They're made. I'm going to go pack them up and enjoy my afternoon. Enjoy yours also. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most important to me, leave a comment. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon. Here, Picard China has been a part of this country's history for more than 100 years. Even during the Second World War, Picard Genoa was a fixture for the United States Quartermaster Corps by securing a contract to provide gravy boats for the military. Over the years, they have been commissioned to produce custom sets for Air Force One, Blair House, and Camp David. These and other collectible dinnerware Picard China patterns are a treat for collectors and intertwined with the story of a nation. Isn't it great when you can own a piece of American history, knowing a long lineage of incredible quality and craftsmanship can be a part of your home? Wouldn't any collector be thrilled to be the recipient of a Picard plate that silently tells the story of our nation in a dinnerware antique? Wouldn't you cherish this upscale fine china that must pass a minimum of 21 inspections and 300% approvals for quality? Wilder Picard started his company in Edgerton, Wisconsin in 1893. Their specialty was in tea sets, dessert, and hand-painted decorative art pieces. After moving their business to Chicago in the 1920s, artists from around the world were invited to bring their own unique artistry to production. Picard's final stop would be in Antock, Illinois, where Wilder's son, Austin, moved the company in 1930. Over the past three decades, Picard China has been recognized as best manufacturer of limited editions four times by the National Association of Limited Edition Dealers. They were named Plate of the Year by Bradford Exchange Limited three times and by readers of Plate Collector Magazine for seven years in a row for Picard Dinnerware. They have been commissioned by the heads of state of Saudi Arabia and the Queen of England. Moreover, they have produced exclusive sets for Hilton, Sheridan, and Marriott Hotels. On its fourth generation of owners from the Picard family, today, they are still known as one of the greatest producers of fine china in the world. Picard gold plates are decorated with 24 karat gold, pure platinum, and radiant cobalt with patterns that enchant its upscale clientele with hand-painted designs and superior. Music